Hey everyone, well, happy Victoria Day, or for any of my viewers that are living in Quebec, Bonne Fête des Patriotes. Uh, we're not doing gardening this weekend like half of the rest of the world. Uh, this zone that we're in, it's like a zone three at the new house, uh, we're still getting uh, frost warnings at night. And there's another one out for tonight, so we're not doing any gardening today. But it's a beautiful sunny day, We've gotta have something to do. Let's get the Baofeng into the Jeep. Yes, over here you probably hear it running, is the old Dodge Ram. And in there I have a, an actual mobile unit. Uh, I don't know, let's see if I can zoom in on that antenna up there. Nah, you're not going to be able to see it. Never mind that. Uh, there's a Nagoya antenna hanging off of the, or clamped to the hood of the truck and there's a, a QIT mobile uh, inside. That's all running well. It's all running good. I've done a radio test on the air. I got a reply back. Everything was fine. So now we're going to try and get the Baofeng in there. And the reason I'm using the Baofeng is because I have so many of them uh, for to hand out to people, uh, give to neighbors, you name it. So we're going to take one of them uh, and we're going to use it as a mobile unit because the QIT, did a bug just walk across my lens? Son of a gun. Yeah, a bug did walk, okay. Uh, yeah, the QIT, I have two of them. One of them's installed in the truck right now, uh, and the other one is packed away in uh, EMP-proof bags, just in case, you never know. And I do have a few of these Baofengs packed away in EMP-proof bags also, but this one is uh, set up and ready, so we're gonna, take that and install it in the Jeep. Now, what we have here, we've got a small mag mount antenna. Probably not the best quality, but it does do the trick. The Baofeng itself. On the back, we have the battery eliminator installed, which goes to a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug, accessory plug, whatever you want to call it. Uh, inside the truck uh, that plugs in and we have the hand mic in there so uh, yeah let me set up the camera somewhere inside and uh, we'll see if we can get this uh, installed all right we're back we've got it done uh, that actually didn't take long about five minutes <laughs> if, if that so here we can see just on this little box storage area here we've clipped the bow thing and the hand mic uh, right there. They stay fairly stable, don't fall off. The cord for power runs down underneath the shifter and plugs in right there to the accessory socket. What I did for the antenna... Ooh, the light's gonna be a problem here. Anyway, the antenna, you can see the wire there at the antenna connector. This goes up over the dash and into the rubber molding. This wasn't hard to actually get it underneath. It, it you watch here you can actually just peel this right back a little bit just enough tuck that wire underneath all the way up goes along there and comes out uh, to get it outside by the door now let me just show you from the outside yeah that's gonna cause a pinch point now the reason I did put it up here at least this high is because when we close the door see if you can see that when we close the door that's a rubber gasket there at the door so we want rubber meeting this wire not metal on metal which is why it's not up here or something it's right there where that rubber that rubber there is meeting then it just goes up and plop there it is mag mount antenna on the roof I try to get it as centered as I can. You want as much metal around it in all directions to make sure that it gets a good ground plane. And that's how that works. And that's it, it's done. So we have two vehicles now set up with ham radio. One of them is using a QIT mobile and this is how we can get a Baofeng installed as a mobile unit. Works pretty good actually with that mic. I wish the mic had some features on it. That's not the way these things are designed. Uh, I don't believe there's a, a mic you can get 
for the Baofeng that will give you some features like scanning channel up, channel down, VFO and memories and stuff like that, uh, like I have on the QIT, but like I said, this does work and will work when I'm out on the road, it'll be great, it'll be handy, and uh, maybe get my arse out of trouble every once in a while. That's it for now, folks. Again, have a great uh, weekend. Uh, most of you are probably planting. Get those gardens in and uh, start producing your own food. Don't forget, be prepared, Canada. It's a tough world out there.